beloved Milwaukee journalist is back because his last visit just wasn't enough for us. Cracker Stevenson wrote for the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel for more than 30 years. The award winning columnist took advantage of a company buyout earlier this month and he retired, but not from the yellow couch. No, he did not. And nope. he wrote the well known column. It was called Better Angels. And as many fans know, he's now losing his sight. So we are happy that Crocker agreed to visit us again on the yellow couch. He's going to chat about retirement and his next chapter as well. Good to see you again. And I'm so. a dog person. Are you? You are. But you know, I saw one, I saw an advertisement for one of the cat cafes that said, uh, eat, drink, and pet cats. <laughs> and I think, I think the idea of eating or drinking a cat uh -huh. is a terrible idea. <laughs> I'm with you they on that. You need a comma in there. So. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> Wait, there no, like they didn't use the Oxford comma. Yeah. Right? Eat, That's when it can go eat, real drink wrong. Drink or pet yeah. cats. Oh, I yeah. got to make a confession. For, well, first of all, I was worried about you getting here because I know me a too. lot of times right. you take <laughs> a lot of times you take the bus, right. um, which I really appreciate. But we were all worried about how you were going to get here in the bus. So thank you so much for being here. Yeah. But my big regret after you were here last time, I realized. I did not get a selfie with you. And oh. I do often with guests, but it's the one time I really regret not getting a selfie. So oh I have to do God. that today. Okay, let's be sure to do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, tell, tell us again, because uh, you know, if people didn't remember seeing you here last time, where is your eyesight at? How is it? What do you see? Um, well, it's kind of like being underwater. I mean, I can, I can kind of see you guys there, mm -hmm. but you're pretty blurry. And uh, it, what I have is a little bit like macular degeneration. Okay. The back of my eye where you, where all the nerves are, are is, are, is sort of disintegrating. Is it genetic? Um, kind of, they don't know. They don't have, probably someday they will have a genetic um, diagnosis. Oh, yeah. yeah, It has certain genetic characteristics similar to other eye diseases, but it doesn't really match up. You were here in December, so now not quite two months later. Is it, it does it get worse that fast? Does it, because I know it does progress, is there, you won't completely lose your sight, is that right? Or do you? I, I will, um, I mean, I'll be legally blind, but um, I will have, I'll retain some peripheral vision. And I used to think, oh, that's not great. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. it, it, but actually it is, a, that's a huge gift because, you know, getting around with a cane, like on, on a day like this, you cannot get around with a cane. No. And with peripheral vision, you can sort of see the edge of the sidewalk or you can, you can see the uh, that you're coming to a curb and that kind of stuff. So um, you can you're really much more mobile with um, peripheral vision. So um, yeah, but but as as far as any uh, change since the last time we were together, um, I mean things are fuzzier, but not not crazy fuzzier. Just mm -hmm. you know, I mostly notice when I'm writing and I'm looking at a computer screen and uh, um, and I can't quite see all the letters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. So you decided to retire. There was yes. a big buyout um, or um, and, and part of the big staff cuts at the paper. So yeah. talk a little bit about your decision to accept that and why. Oh, you know, I just, you know, I'm at the right age um, and the um, the buyout was pretty generous. Um, I could retire with the buyout and um, and it was it was hard to write. I mean, I it, because of your vision. Yeah. So it would take me. Um, I, uh, you know, almost a whole week to produce just one column, which is really not what you're looking for in a, in a, in a newspaper. You are a reporter. You need yeah. to be doing more than that. And um, and interviewing became um, difficult, but but the people I was interviewing were generally very helpful. Uh, the because um, um, I would hear what somebody was saying. I might not be able to read their expression, mm -hmm. but I could hear in their voice certain qualities going on and so I would say oh are you are you sad right now and they and they say yeah um, and you know and then like they would reach out and, and grab my hand and so you would so an intimacy would develop that was mm. that was really powerful I wonder so what your next chapter is um, because you wrote this article that a lot of people are familiar with better angels about kindness decency and compassion and they always say when you you lose one sense others kind of kind of Height. hyper develop or are heightened. Yeah. Have you noticed any one other sense in particular kind of taking over or, or getting s noticeably stronger? Oh, weirdly? Um, smell. I smell. I knew it. I knew you were going <laughs> to say that. I just had a feeling when you said weirdly or oddly. Yeah. Um, and, and, um, and maybe I'm just paying attention more. I mean, maybe I was, that was always there, but, um, 
but wow, yeah, I'm, I'm become much more sensitive to smells, particularly malodorous <laughs> smells. <laughs> the, the, I mean, I can pick one of those up pretty quickly. Maybe it's riding on the bus, but the, yeah, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yep. uh, that I don't you need to write a column about. I am sorry for insulting yeah. all the bus people out there because really the bus is so great. I yeah, you love, love riding on the bus. It's yeah. awesome. So we I, love our bus people too. As you've kind but of, but when the guy gets on with a giant bag of cans, <laughs> you can smell it. Oh my God. And then it is <laughs> clunk, 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 clunk down the middle of the aisle. You know, he's going to come sit next to me and, not, um, and, and he always does. I don't know. Maybe I'm like, hey, come sit next to me. But um, and so there's this big bag of beer cans going to the oh, recycling I know that place. Smell. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, yep. So. I grew up around a, a beer distributorship, so I that smell of beer cans that there's something nostalgic to that yeah. to me. Yeah. <laughs> Smells like college. Yeah. That too. Absolutely. <laughs> is there any like you know as you think of the column that you've been writing, is there any one story that stood out that you think, hey, this one really changed my perspective or my writing? Yeah, you know, I, I was expecting you to ask me that question, and I was thinking, I, and so like four or five rushed into my head, and um, one of the, um, it might have been the last column I wrote, but I wrote a column about a guy who um, volunteers sitting with people who have no one to die with. Mm. So he, um, and so, so he sits hospice? with in hospices and or or in. Uh, sometimes he will be called to an emergency room mm -hmm. or someplace it, like was that. Was he a minister? Or? No. No. no he's, just, he's just a guy. How old is he? He's like 60 or something. He's, he's still working. And, um, and generally he'll do this at night. But the, yeah, and he told such great stories because, you know, people as they're dying um, will see things. And so, um, you know, someone will say, oh, look at those horses. And, and he'll say, oh, yeah. And then, the, so he'll, he'll have great. this moment with mm -hmm. them that is so beautiful. And so he, he and he was such a gentle soul. And, um, and uh, so I, I really like that guy. That is so you cool. We, we ran out of time, but oh. I have to let you tell people, first of all, you have to come back. You're, we won't make it so okay. snowy next time. <laughs> um, but what I are bet. you doing next? Because people are going to want to know. What are you doing now or moving forward? Just real quick. I am writing, uh, and um, but I have to, um, by a contract, I have to wait before I start publishing again. And uh, I hope to be teaching at UWM uh, a journalism. What do you teach? Oh, journalism. Yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping to teach a, a literary journalism class. And uh, we're still working that out. Good for Aww. you. We love having That's you here. That's great. All right, we'll, you for coming back. we'll get a yeah. selfie We got more. We got more. Don't go anywhere. I feel like there's so much more. So yeah, we had about three times that many questions yeah. prepared for him, didn't we? We'll yeah. just have to awesome. set aside an hour one time. Lovely. That'd be great. <laughs> okay. Thank Thanks you so much, Crocker. It's fantastic.